operated this eventually found safer work. This all made sense to someone, I am sure. I cannot tell you how any of it works. say I don't appreciate it, but I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Tissue sample? You came all the way down here for that? Must be some damn important cells. You want to tell me what I'm about to be staring at? A fast-growing pteromorph. That is concerning. Who exactly told you to bring this to me? A colleague hunting pteromorphs. Mother of God. Adrian sent you, didn't she? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here, and I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right, 
Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by Terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. The chances for survival, let alone maintaining any kind of functioning society, would be slim indeed. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but... Given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. The biggest surprise is not that the UC engaged in Xeno warfare in the past, but that they ever stopped. I would have expected them to very quietly keep this place open.
yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Not a lot of folks would have stuck their necks out for a stranger like that. The red eyes are some badge of honor, I take it? Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Free Star Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti, with both of us. Of course, you deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. No. We were both dismissed after the war for what we did. These days, we're just concerned citizens, with a very particular area of expertise. Our damage has been done for a long time. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground. But the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Because the Terramorph project was doomed from the start, 
Terramorphs are too mean, too smart, too hungry to be used in combat. Trust us, we tried. The data that's in the archives, it's historical write-ups, anatomical notation, food chain analyses. I doubt they would have even classified it if it didn't have a Xeno Warfare logo on it. You have my word. It's not a threat. I mean, I hope they will. But accessing the archives, it's not 100% up to them. They'll also need the consent of the other signatories of the Colony War Armistice, the Freestar Collective and House Varun, in order to unlock it. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So, it's gonna be up to us to get them on board. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Now I need to get this work up in the Cabinet's hands. Once that's done, I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Anything in particular? Cool. That's what we do here. See you around. Watch out for the robots. They're surprisingly sneaky. Nothing's ever easy here. It's never a slow day. Certainly. Let's get to work on you. to take a vacation. <sighs> Let me guess. You're here because you were working. Well, that's a relief. You'd be surprised. Happens at least once or twice a week. <sighs> Sorry. I tend to think the worst, since the overwhelming majority of my patients come here to treat entirely preventable accidents. I know it's my job to help people, and I love doing it, but I do wish they'd be a little more careful down in the mines. I'm Dr. Flynn. What can I do for you today? Bollocks! Is that how I come off now? Ah, oh, work's getting to me, I suppose. It's just... You see, no one on this bloody planet seems to follow basic safety precautions. It's always, Dr. Flynn, reattach me on... Well, maybe if you took the time to pro- Sorry for the rant, just- A friendly reminder that throwing litter off the balcony- Hmm. Really? You came to me for that? Okay then. I can only help you. See you around. Howdy. Hey, you buy from me, maybe I can give you the same. 
Hello, welcome to the Sedonia. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? But that's be- Take a look! Hey, catch you on the flip side. A carefully prepared system. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? I'm a real expert in the gunner's seat. Have to be, since I usually fly... We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. You, people always ask me what I think about. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out in the middle of nowhere? A friend offered me a nice cushion. I could use a break. Don't want to catch yourself with work in the deep. Things can get pretty. Mars is wrapped with resources, which means there's always going to be plenty. Mining takes all types. Young upstarts, former military, ex-cons. This here is the most Im What's up? Hey. This life ain't easy, but it pays the bills. Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. 
Call it scholars in meeting a kindly stranger. You may. Some other time, then. You can make a real good living working the mines. Sidonia's not so Offload. Trade authority is always vying. Kiosk right here. I'm sure you can find something you like. Like you've already in sure how about it
something on your mind? I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. Something important, or just conversation? Workups in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. I'm getting there. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death, on both sides. Freestar Collective, and you see. Military, and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. It's not like that. You need to be here. You're the only other eyewitness. What you say up there matters. I just wanted to make sure you knew all the hurdles we're about to face. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Here we go. Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well precisely how urgent is what I hope will determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a... Surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare Team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice Archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. 
Perhaps you could summarize for the cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, terror morph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Yassin has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? Whatever risks exist, they are outweighed by this imminent threat. I agree. The request should be granted. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs? More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Oh, no. There. There must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti xeno squad, though, is off-world. Going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You too. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Oh, 
Damn it! No! That's it! Stop! Get up with everything you've got! We're trying to help you! you for what you did we didn't we didn't want to hurt them the way those people were acting i've seen this before they were under the terror morphs influence weren't they i i don't know they were down at the port and they just started screaming we tried to restrain them get them on the train to get them out of harm's way but but some of the other officers down there, we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. Let's do it. Nat's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Creatures locked down on the landing line, barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Back up. You say the word, we're out there on your... You two have any experience with Terramorphs before?
only the brief they just gave him. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Roger that. We're on. The rest of the city is safe, thanks to us. You deserve whatever accolades you have coming. Heavens, you're back in one piece. I guess our people weren't so lucky. few protecting the many and it would have been plenty more if it hadn't been for the two of you the city owes you both a debt after this we were just in the right place at the right time captain we should report back to the president let her know the terramorphs have been dealt with take care of yourself sergeant It's a relief to hear. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now. Today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the Cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the Archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, 
we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The Cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast-track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? I'm glad to hear it. Now, we of course won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. We are dismissed. You've got the cabinet full backing to prevent I'm more gonna go attacks. I'm going to go check in with Chief Engineer Michael Carney. Start getting a plan together for that data. The things we do here, the tech we develop, it's all the plan do. Yes? <clears throat> they said it's over, that we can get back to work. Like I'm going to get any work done today. These orders, a vanguard captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre. Chief Yassin's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the Archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency, and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both, and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Very funny. This is going to be hard enough already. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ah, <sighs> the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Hmm, it 
Sounds as though I will enjoy this. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life. And someone who very likely hates her guts. Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Ambassador Balmore's... a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the Armistice, Balmor stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. The Zealots do not represent House Barun. I am sure there are many within their society who value the same things we do. Of course. But there is... another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmor is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the Armistice. Then you search the Embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. I, of course, hope the Ambassador is alive and well. Now, the Embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the Embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the Ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the Embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, 
If you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. <laughs>